Imagine combining any tool in Minecraft. This is a diamond pickaxe sword, and this is a diamond netherite pickaxe sword shovel. And as you can probably guess, this is a diamond netherite pickaxe sword shovel axe. Welcome to Minecraft, but you can make multi-tools. In this video, I can craft a multi-tool and upgrade any of its attachments. These upgrades give crazy abilities that include chopping trees in one strike and breaking entire chunks. Before we start, be sure to check if you're subscribed because we're so close to one million. Without any more delay, let's go. Okay, so apparently I'm on a massive jungle tree. Oh, there's a parrot with me. Hello. How is it going? He's just spinning in circles. Why do they all do this? Every mob in my videos just spins around. Okay, we're not going to question it. Anyway, I'm just going to collect a bunch of wood right now and we can straight away just craft a wooden multi-tool. All I need to do is make a crafting table. Also, I see a pillager tower there. I'm definitely going to loot that after. Okay, so we're going to make some sticks and we're also going to make one of every wooden tool. And if we just put all of these together, just like this, as you can see, we can now craft the wood multi-tool. Look at this thing, dude. This is ridiculous. Now, this thing actually has an ability called Lumberjack, where I can break an entire tree in one strike. So, we're just gonna jump into this water here and try it out. Let's break the bottom of this tree and... Oh my. That is so satisfying. And also, if you guys look at this, my log counter is actually going up. And if I complete that and mine all 50 logs, the axe on my multi-tool is going to upgrade to a stone axe. So we can just break this. And as you can see, it's already a stone axe. Look how many logs I have right now, dude. The jungle biome is actually perfect for that. I'm actually going to upgrade the pickaxe before I go into the pillager tower, just in case I need to dig down. So let's mine some stone as well. And there we go. The pickaxe is now stone. All right, we'll do the shovel as well. I just want to get the stone multi-tool as fast as possible. And we can also upgrade the sword, I think, by killing mobs. Yeah. So I can just use pillagers to fill up that counter and upgrade the entire tool. Oh yeah, and each time I upgrade it, it gains a new ability. So by the end of this, we're going to have eight abilities on our multi-tool, which is going to be so good. And there we go. The shovel is complete. Look at this thing. The final thing I have to do is kill 10 mobs. So I think it is time to take over the pillager tower. Okay, let's do this. One down. Wait, dude, they've captured an iron golem. If I can release this guy, that would be so good. Yes, golem, attack. Kill them all for me. Okay, it's getting kind of intense. There's so many pillagers. The golem is taking a couple of them out for me. And I can also just get like hay bales from these. And we're going to make some food to regen. I need to play this kind of safe. All right, there's another pillager here. We're going to... Oh, dude, we one tapped it. This one's going down. We're making the stone multi-tool and nothing is going to stop us. I've taken out all the pillagers. So the final mob is unfortunately going to have to be the golem. So let's just kill this guy. And there we go, the stone upgrade is complete. So it's now enchanted with efficiency one and there are even more pillagers, dude. Okay, I can just grind kills on these guys. Not even close, dude. Okay, we're only on half a heart and that's the new ability. Okay, I tried to eat, but apparently we just started throwing rocks. Okay, I'm guessing, yeah, rock throw ability. Honestly, I'm just gonna keep speedrunning the upgrades on this tool because I just wanna see what the other ones have. And also I just got a crossbow. That is so lucky, okay. Oh no, there are ways. Oh, why are there so many pillagers? Wait, no, it's fine. Dude, why are there this many? Okay. Okay, we can just block up. We're fine. I'm just going to continue mining and then I can farm these pillagers later on and upgrade my sword. That'll be so good. Oh, I found some copper ore. I'm actually going to take that because like I can make a spyglass or whatever you can make with copper. It's just cool, okay? It kind of looks like beans though. I don't know. Anyway, let's mine some stone. Oh, and there we go. Literally after like two breaks, we now have a gold pickaxe. Okay, I need to kill 20 mobs with this thing to make a gold sword. So we're just going to go ahead and like keep tapping these guys. We've actually just made a pillager grinder. This is so good, but we also do have the bad omen effect now. All right, let's break some more trees because this is definitely the most satisfying thing. And I can probably also use my new ability, Rock Throw, to like kill some mobs maybe? Does this do damage? Oh, it actually does. That's so good. This is actually a really good weapon and no way. It breaks trees too. Can it break jungle trees? It can. Oh my. I just broke a massive jungle tree and now we have a golden axe. All right, pretty good, pretty good. Now we're just gonna upgrade the sword. And there we go. We have a gold sword now, which is kind of a downgrade, but it's fine. Once I upgrade the shovel, we'll get a new ability and it'll be great. And there we go. The gold upgrade is complete. Okay. Oh, it has efficiency two now, which is probably going to be quite fast. Let's see. Yes. Okay. This is definitely a lot faster, but I think I have to break more blocks now. So yeah, we have to break a hundred stone, but that shouldn't be too long. Oh, and a new ability as well. 5% chance to find a rare item when breaking blocks. Okay. We're just going to keep breaking blocks over and over and hope that I get some Oh, I got something. A gold block and gilded blackstone and a lodestone block. Dude, this is actually amazing because I'm going to have to go nether. So like gold blocks are definitely good. 
Oh, and there we go. My pickaxe is now upgraded. Okay, and now this is an iron pickaxe. I can actually mine this iron ore vein, so that's pretty good. I actually can't get over how cool this thing is. This is just so satisfying to use. And I wonder how fast this breaks. No way. I can literally insta-break dirt. I can literally just grind infinite lucky drops. This is so good. We got iron. I have 10 iron and 9 gold now. Okay. And if I just mine even more dirt, because it makes me mine 200 now. I think it doubles every time. There we go. We have the iron shovel, which is even slower, but it's okay, because we get a new ability. Also, once we upgrade the entire thing to iron, we're going to get efficiency 3, and I think that will insta-break stone again. So let's just use our rock throw ability to start breaking down more trees and upgrade our axe to gold as well. There we go. This is just so satisfying to use, dude. I can just run around and right-click. There we go. Three materials are now iron, so all I need now is some more mobs to fight. And I think fish are the best bet right now because there's so many of them and I can just one-tap them. It's actually becoming nighttime, so this kind of works out since I can just kill a bunch of hostile mobs. Oh, and dude, I can keep breaking this gilded blackstone and get a bunch of gold nuggets as well if I ever need some, so that actually works out pretty well. I'm just gonna launch rocks at this skeleton right here so I can get another easy kill. There we go. We just obliterated it. And we just killed another creeper. How many more do I have to kill? Um, dude, that's so many mobs. We still have to kill 16 more. Oh, I found sugarcane though, which is pretty good because I can get enchants later on. And a ruined portal with gold blocks too, so we can use this for trading later on. Anything good in here? We have all my two gold blocks, obsidian, so I think I can, yeah, I can complete this portal. A gold pickaxe with mending, which we don't even need, and then we have a flint and steel as well. That is actually an insane chest, holy. Yeah, I can probably fight a bunch of mobs in the nether, so after I kill these zombies and skeletons, we're gonna go through. Oh yeah, I can make a pigment grinder, dude. That'll be so good. I can upgrade my sword like twice. And there's a massive ravine down here too, so if I wanna go on a mining trip, then I know where to go. Okay, let's just place these here, and then light the portal, and we can go through. I really feel like this might be a bad idea did, but I just want to kill piglins, dude. If I just make a grinder, it'll be fine, okay? So it's gonna speed bridge up here, and I think there should be something, hopefully nearby. Oh, I see a bunch of piglins. Okay, this could be quite good. Okay, are you guys ready for my professional piglin grinder? What we're gonna do is just attack this piglin, and then dig straight down, and then just let them jump down here. And as long as I just tap these for a couple of minutes, then we should be able to just grind our kills and upgrade our sword all the way to a diamond one. Oh, and there we go. The iron upgrade is now complete. And the new ability is Vein Miner. Breaks all connected blocks when mining an ore. Okay, is there any ores in the nether? I mean, I can... <gasps> Oh my, I just got ender pearls. I have no idea what lucky drop that was, but that is definitely good. That means I don't even need to go to a bastion if I'm lucky enough. Actually, what I'm going to do right now is upgrade my sword again all the way to a diamond sword, because once I have that, it'll just be so good. Also, I'm going to have to kill pretty much every piglin that's nearby to actually have a chance at- Oh no, dude, what just happened? I think I insta-broke the netherrack. Okay, we're fine. I'm going to build a new piglin farm and just keep going until I get my diamond sword. Wait, dude, a hundred mobs. This is going to take so long. I wonder if there's any other way that I can grind out mobs. Like, oh, there's a fortress here. Okay, a blaze spawner could be quite good, since that's just gonna keep spawning mobs over and over, but at the same time, I feel like a piglin grinder might be faster, but let's just try this anyway. I need to get my blaze rods to beat Minecraft either way, so like, I might as well just do some fighting in this fortress. Let's just build up here. Oh, I found a blaze spawner. Okay, so I can't even dual wield a shield with this. I have to like, take it out and keep switching slots, because otherwise I just start throwing rocks, and that'll go horribly wrong. So my plan is just to kill blazes until my sword turns diamond. Also, there's a piglin here. Oh yes, there's a magma cube here. This is so many free kills, because I can split it and then just keep grinding the baby ones. Never have I actually wanted a magma cube in Minecraft, dude. Oh, and I can try out my vein miner ability now, so let's see if this works on- Yes, there we go. So much gold. Yeah, I can mine so much gold like this. This'll be really good. Oh, I found enderpearls. Let's go. We got some trades. I feel like this might be a bad idea, but I'm gonna make a pit for zombie piglins to go in and let them collect so I can keep grinding kills, because we're still only halfway. Dude, this video is gonna be such a grind. Okay. So if I just wait here, the zombie piglins should just appear while I kill blazes, and then once we're done, I can kill all of the zombie piglins, and it should be pretty good. I am literally on one heart right now, dude. This is not good. Okay, let's kill the blaze, get out the shield. I should probably get out of here, to be honest. There is literally a guard shooting me as well. This is so bad. Get out of here, ghost. Bang, let's go. There are so many piglins here, dude. Okay, we're gonna make another farm. Let's go. Down, and we're just gonna grind until we get the diamond sword. Ah! 
And there we go. Finally, our first diamond tool. That took so long, dude. Okay, now all I have to do is break 200 stone to upgrade my pickaxe to a... Oh, a lucky drop. It's a book with loyalty three. Okay, well, if I somehow get a trident as a lucky drop, then that would be good. Oh, apples, yes. Literally just what I need. I have barely any food right now. Oh, I can even make a golden apple. Yes, finally, I can actually walk again. Okay, and we're just gonna start giga drilling all of this netherrack. There we go. Oh wait, dude, it's not even going up because this isn't stone. That's so annoying. Okay, well, at the very least, I've grinded a bunch of rare drops. I got even more ender pearls, which is amazing. So I can actually go back to the overworld when I need to. Um, There's a potion here, I think. Super haste potion with haste three. Wait, dude, that might be enough for me to insta-break stone. So if I go back through my portal, we could use that ravine and just like go on a huge mining trip. I think that's a good idea, to be honest. We have like everything I could possibly need from the nethers. So, oh, a saddle. Yeah, I will definitely take that. Okay, and now it's going to go back through our portal and I'm just gonna get the rest of my pearls from the lucky drop thing so we have our super haste potion now and I can also mine entire veins of ores dude this is so good this tool is actually so fun to use dude okay I just got diamonds no way it was only one but I will definitely take it so let's just drink up this super haste potion and no dude it's so close to insta breaking as soon as I get this diamond pickaxe it probably will insta break okay well at the very least this is gonna be quite quick so I'm not gonna complain Dude, I got another super haste potion from a lucky drop. That is so good. Okay, at least now when I get the diamond pickaxe and I want to upgrade it again, I can use a new super haste potion. So this is pretty good. And I can just like keep mining entire veins of ores. And I got the diamond pickaxe. I have no idea when I actually got it, but oh, dude, it still can't insta break. I reckon once we get the entire diamond upgrade, we'll be able to because like I'll get efficiency four then and efficiency four diamond with haste definitely works. Oh, I found some dirt down here. So I think I can just insta break all of this and I should be able to upgrade the shovel as well while I'm down here and get lucky drop drops too. Dude, I see a crossbow. Piercing four crossbow. Dude, that is so good. I also have 32 iron now. This is actually amazing. I need to dig 400 dirt though, so this is going to take quite a while. And wait, did I just see... Dude, 1.5 thousand stone. This is going to take so long and we're not even at the netherite level. Like, I'm still going to have to upgrade the netherite version too. This is just crazy. And there we go. The shovel is now diamond. Now I have to break 400 logs. So we're going to dig up to surface and just like find some massive trees. And then we're going to have the diamond multi-tool, which is going to be ridiculous. Yes, we're still in the jungle. Okay, perfect. Bang, let's go. In one strike, we went from like 50 logs to 150. That's so good. And then in this one, we go all the way up to 200. 30. All right, literally this tree. And there we go. Diamond upgrade complete. Look at this thing. We have a diamond multi-tool, dude. Do you see this panda? Do you see how cool this tool looks? He does. Wait, is the panda sick? Can I, like, how do you cure it? This is so sad, guys. Leave a like down below for the sick panda. Wait, dude, I hear something crazy right now. If I just go up here, I think there might be, no way, dude, a giant orangutan in the tree. That is so crazy. Guys, if you made it this far, leave a comment about the real orangutan. It's definitely not edited in. And we will confuse everybody in the comments, okay? All right, well, since I- Wait, what just happened? Did you guys see that? It just started breaking a massive area. Oh, oh, wait, it's only when I'm shifted. Dude, no way. I can break dirt so fast. I have to break 2,000 of it, though. But that will give me the netherite tool. And if this is just the diamond, imagine the super one. Oh, my. This is getting even crazier. Oh, I haven't even checked the diamond ability as well. Super pearl ability. Right-click while shifting to throw a super ender pearl that spawns OP items. Um... It gave me cobblestone. Anything good? Oh, gold? Uh, more gold. All right, I think it's just giving me random materials. I see redstone, I see lapis. Well, that'll actually be quite good for enchanting, to be fair. And we also have a skeleton. We're just gonna take that guy out. And we're just gonna upgrade this entire thing to netherite, okay? It's not gonna take that long, surely. Especially if I drink the super haste potion for the stone. So, yeah, let's just continue breaking dirt. And there we go. We have a netherite shovel right now. And since I'm like already at the surface, we might as well just do the second easiest one, which is definitely going to be the axe. How many logs do I have to break? 2,000. Dude, I am literally going to chop down this entire rainforest by the end of this video. I have to upgrade it another time after this too. All right, I'll be right back after I chop down like a trillion trees. If I wasn't in a jungle right now, I have no idea how I'd do this. And there we go. We got the netherite axe. Okay, so since I need lucky drops, I think I'm going to do the pickaxe next. I'm going to dig down to Y11 and try and find diamonds while doing this because I feel like I might as well. 
Oh, dude, right away. Let's go. I got diamonds. Four in total, so I can make enchants later on. And I'm going to drink this super haste potion, and I'm just going to start mining really quickly, and then break 1,500 stone. Also, look, 6,000 logs to get the super. What? Dude, that is just way too much. It better come with a good ability once I get it to netherite. Holy, dude. Wait, dude, I think I can get netherite scraps and diamonds. No way. Wait, I might die, though. But if I just spam the super pearl, I can get, like, enough diamonds to make full armor and everything, so that's pretty good. And there we go, the netherite pickaxe has been obtained. The final one is the netherite sword, and I have to kill 200 mobs. Where am I gonna find 200 mobs? I feel like the nether is actually the best bet. I don't even know though. I mean, I could just find mobs underground since we're in a mine shaft, so there'll be a bunch of cave spiders. But at the same time, these guys are kind of hard to kill, so I don't know if that's actually a good idea. Oh, I found diamonds though, and I haven't even made armor actually. We have 12 right now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make myself some diamond boots and a diamond chest plate. And dude, if I get one more netherite scrap as a rare drop, then I can make a netherite piece, which will be so good. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go to an ocean right now and just kill fish for like 20 minutes straight. And as soon as I unlock the netherite sword, we're gonna get an even crazier ability, so I just wanna do this as fast as possible. Yes, dude, there are fish right here. Okay, it's time to literally kill 200 cod. Why does this video have to be so grindy? And there we go, the netherite upgrade is complete. So first of all, it looks like we have a new ability called netherite pet. It says right click the ground to summon a pet wearing netherite armor that fights for you. Okay, that is definitely pretty cool. Oh my, look at this thing. Wait, can I just get infinite pets? Oh no, I can only get three, but one of these is a wither skeleton, which is so good. Wait, do they follow me as well? They do, that is so good. Oh wait, no, they're gonna start drowning. I need to get them on land. Come here, zombie pets. This is so strange, dude. Oh wait, dude, look at these counters. Chop 6,000 logs, kill 400 mobs. Okay, do these guys like... That's so good. But I need to kill 400 more mobs. Like, that is actually insane. I just really want to see what the super multi-tool looks like. So we're going to go back to the jungle and we're going to keep grinding. Oh yeah, this has efficiency 5, which means that I can insta-break blocks. So this should be... Wait, that's a bigger radius. I'm pretty sure the shovel got an upgrade, dude. Look how much dirt I can break. That's way bigger than last time. Okay, netherite pets, protect me, okay? Yes, dude, let's go. Good zombie. Okay, well, since we're back in the jungle, I'm just gonna do the axe first, because, like, this is definitely the quickest, and we only need to get 6,000 logs. Okay. Oh wait, dude, I found a jungle temple while breaking trees, so we might as well just loot this really quickly. Maybe we can get something good? Let's see, we got one diamond, okay. Gold, which I'll definitely take, because if I want to go nether and trade, then I can. Even more gold and even more iron, there we go. And after 10 minutes, I'm only halfway through, so I guess it's back to breaking logs. And there we go. The axe is now super. Look how cool that is, dude. And it breaks things so fast. All right, now let's go for the pickaxe because that's going to be so easy since I can literally break a 5x5 five five area. Holy. Oh, I found an amethyst thing. Let's uh just break the entire thing down. This sounds so satisfying, dude. Oh, dude. And once my entire tool is super, I'm tempted to just go nether. And also I found diamonds. I'm tempted to go to the nether since I can probably find so much ancient debris like this. Oh, more diamonds. There we go. 16 extra in total. So literally one more vein and we can have everything I want. Actually, I think I can make myself full diamond armor now. We can make the leggings. We can make the helmet. And I still have enough left over for the enchantment tables. So we're pretty much set. All I have to do now is just like break blocks for, let's see, 4,000 stone. That's not too bad. And we're so close as well. Even more diamonds. Holy dude, this pickaxe is just so OP. Wait, can I break bedrock with this? I think I can. No. Am I going to spleef myself? Is this? Yep. That was way too close. I can literally see the void. Oh, and there we go. I did it already. This was actually so quick because the pickaxe is just so OP now. Oh, I found a zombie spawner by just strip mining. Okay. Anything good inside? We have some gapples, iron, gunpowder, and a music disc, which I could play, but it's kind of pointless. Okay, and since it's becoming nighttime right now, what I'm going to do is just run around on surface for 10 minutes and kill as many mobs as possible. My sword is really strong, so I should be able to kill quite a few and just work towards that 400 mobs. I actually love using this, dude. This is so good. If I need to keep a creeper away or something, I can just stay back. That's so good. Oh, and dude, I can use my netherite pets to give me even more kills, so this this is gonna be quite good. Are you guys ready for the rock throw combo? There we go. Bang, bang. Oh no, I ran out of sprint. Attack netherite pets. Yes. No way, dude. And because it died from like another mob, I got a music disc. It's maul. Okay. I'm gonna play this as fighting music. Let's just put this here. This goes inside and there we go. Maul is now playing. 
And there we go. In one night, I got 126 mob kills. So we have to spend another 40 minutes killing mobs and then I should get the super sword. Oh, dude, I found an enderman. If I can kill this guy, then I can get one more ender pearl and I think we should have enough. There we go, 12. Well, I guess I'm just gonna kill random mobs in this plains until I reach 400. Let's just do this. And there we go, the super sword has been acquired. All I need is one more upgrade to finally get the full super multi-tool. This grind has actually been insane. Okay, at least now all I have to do is mine dirt, which is gonna be super quick. So let's just go ahead and mine 4,000 more dirt. And there we go, the full super multi-tool has been obtained. So as you guys can see, the counter is now gone and all it says is sheep cannon ability. Fires an explosive rainbow sheep that deals damage to mobs and breaks blocks. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. So if I shift, it throws the rainbow pearl and gives me an OP item. But if I right click without shifting, it shoots a rainbow sheep, look at that. Oh, and it turns into rainbow TNT. And is this gonna blow up and like... Okay. Wait, dude. Books? Diamond blocks. Okay, there's a lot of cool items here. No way, dude. This is like Bastion chest loot. There's enchanted diamond armor here. Protection 2. Diamond chest plate mending. Wait, dude. I can probably get, like, ancient debris maybe if I'm really lucky. So let's just throw down a bunch of sheep and let all of this rainbow TNT explode. And, uh, hope that I get some good items. Oh, I see a potion. Potion of strength 2 for 1 minute 30. Okay, we're gonna do so much damage to the dragon now. Jump boost 2 potion. A bunch of rainbow colored wool. That's pretty interesting. Actually, I'm just gonna start traveling to the stronghold. Because I can use my rainbow pearls to travel so quickly. We don't take any damage. So I can just keep spamming this pearl. And also collecting diamonds along the way. And when I get to the end, we're gonna use our sheep cannon ability to deal so much damage to the dragon. And I'll probably upgrade my armor to netherite by just using rainbow sheep in the end. So it should be pretty good. It's literally been like a minute and I can already go to the stronghold. And to be honest, do I even need to throw more eyes? I can probably just dig down like this all the way to Y11. Dude, I'm even taking damage. And we're in the stronghold. Dude, no, so many silverfish. I can solve this with rainbow sheep. Let's go. Wait, no, that's gonna make even more. It's TNT. Wait, it should be fine. I think it killed all the silverfish. There's one here and I'm just gonna kill it like that. There we go. Oh wait, potion. Regeneration potion. That's so good. But I don't even need to run through the stronghold when I can just like do this and keep breaking more. And we should yop. There we go. That's the portal room. And there's two eyes in here, so we can definitely go through. Place all of these in here. And we are in. There we go. Okay, and I'm just gonna launch a bunch of rainbow sheep across the end and take out all of these endermen. And dude, what is that? I have endermen on me as well. This is so bad. Okay, we're already on five hearts, so this is kind of bad. I'm gonna try and collect some food by getting OP items from the rainbow sheep. So let's just wait back here. Let all of this TNT explode and then hope that I can get some golden apples or something. And I spawn my netherite pets down as well. Oh, golden carrots. There we go. 17 of them. So that's probably enough for the fight. Okay, now I'm going to try and take out some of these blazes. I think my TNT got quite a lot of them. Oh, dude, I'm being set on fire. Okay, let's try and go in here. Hit it once. Come on. Die. Die. Dude, it literally has a shield. This is crazy. Okay, I'm going to shoot a bunch of sheep. We're not showing any mercy against these guys. And I'm also going to build up so it can't hit me with the fire. Oh, no, it can. Oh, my. And it's still alive. Okay, zombie. Attack. Attack the... Yes, it's doing it. It's actually doing it. Oh my, I think the zombie took one of them out, so we're good. As soon as I get rid of these things, we will be fine, okay? I can kill the dragon, I can break the crystals. I am so low right now, dude. Okay, the final one is literally right here. All I have to do is get one bow shot, two, come on, I can get it. Three, come on, dude, we can do this. Okay, come on, and there we go, that's it. Now I'm just gonna take out all of the crystals. And final one, there we go. Okay, the dragon's perched, we're gonna go in. How much damage does this- Oh my, dude, and that's a sword. Literally, look how much damage I can deal. Oh no, I have a pearl though, we can clutch this, we can clutch this. Come on, there we go. I got out my boat just in case, but luckily we had a pearl somehow. Oh wait, dude, what if I kill the dragon with rainbow sheep? That would be so good, because look how much TNT there is. Strength potion, there we go. Okay, as soon as the dragon perches, we're gonna be fine. And I think I can one-tap Enderman, dude. Oh no, there's dragon's breath right above me, but I think we're fine as long as we don't jump. Okay. That's its head. Look how much damage I'm dealing. It's actually gonna die. No, it's flying away. Come back here. Come back here. Okay, it's perching. We're gonna shoot so many rainbow sheep down. No, those are pearls. Those are pearls. I don't wanna be down here. And I think the rainbow sheep might be able to kill the dragon as long as we get far away. Come on, kill the dragon. Go. Please, let's go, let's go. But there are endermen on me now. Dude, I don't know if I can make it to the portal. Please. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, please, dude. I'm literally on three hearts. I can do it. Yes. Let's go. All right, well, that was a kind of ridiculous end fight and a kind of ridiculous video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Anyway, that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you all later. Peace.